<laughs> hey, buddy, how you doing? How you? <laughs> ah, here we are again. Another beautiful day in the New England area. Yeah, I don't know why. Some of the comments and messages I get when I say I'm from New England, people are like, "Oh, sorry, uh, I was gonna buy from you, but I, I thought you were in the states." Um, yeah, New England is in in the states, guys. It's uh. There's England, then there's New England. I know, it's a uh, fascinating concept, but uh, it's <laughs> it's the truth. Well, okie dokie, folks, today is gecko day. We are gonna be checking out all the geckos, cleaning, uh, checking on eggs, things like that. Well, of course, we'll be talking about what's been going on with the Chinese cave geckos, because it's kind of like I unboxed them. I actually don't think I unboxed them on the channel. I think I only did it on Patreon, and I forgot to mention it on uh, the regular YouTube channel, and then nothing's happened with them. So let's talk a little bit about that. Let's check out some of my awesome geckos, and um, let's get to it, yeah. Oh, one of the baby quinces climbing up, taking a peek of what's going on over here. Hey guys, before we get this video started, I just want to ask the question of the day. And that question is going to be, what is your favorite gecko within my entire collection? Of course, we got some amazing super dolls, the cave gecko, some incredible toke gecko, some very very expensive toke geckos and then also the leopard gecko things like that drop me a comment down there i want to know what your favorite what your favorite gecko is in my collection okie dokie folks today we're going to be checking out some gecko eggs we're going to be starting with my cressets and gargoyles over here we have a wonderful pairing of gargoyle geckos uh this is actually my female yellow stripe to my male which is just kind of like a brownish orange stripe not not the best looking male but we do have some fantastic females so let's see if we got any eggs going on in here all right, so we got the uh, nice lay box that the female has gotten covered in crested gecko food that I'll have to uh, clean out. And no luck today. All right, no eggs yet from this yellow striped girl. I don't know why. I mean, this is about a month two, I believe, of me having her, and we still haven't gotten eggs. That's a bit disappointing. We've paired her twice with the male. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Okay, next up on the list, we've got Cookie, who was paired to uh, Spots. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's no eggs going on right now, because as you can see, uh, she is looking pretty plump, so she's probably giving us eggs in a little bit. She's put on a lot of weight, which is good during breeding season. However, uh, once we are off in the fall and she starts cooling down, we'll definitely be uh, cutting her because, my God, she's getting a little chunky. She's getting them rolls. We don't want those rolls, sweetheart. That is a big gecko. <laughs> don't mind that. That's from Archie. Having a husky is so much fun. I love having huskies. So uh, pair number three is going to be Xena to Spice. This was a, a pairing that I was really excited for and we finally did. Let's see if we got any eggs. We're checking out opening egg box now. We're going to uh, dig around a little bit, dig around a little bit. Damn, really? I mean, darn. Oh, I'm going to have to bleep that out. No eggs again. Bummer. All right, all right. We, we still got one more clutch. Let's see. Can we get a clutch of eggs on video? That is uh, the challenge for today. Right, last clutch we are checking actually comes from an animal that I produced myself. This was the second crested gecko that I've ever hatched. Uh, funny enough, I didn't keep her like around to breed her because I was like, oh man, she's a fantastic looking gecko. Uh, quite honestly, when she first came out of the egg and when I first had her, I couldn't sell her. She only had about three spots while her tiger striping was good. Really, no one wonder. And so, I kind of just kept holding her back until she was a sub-adult and at which point I was like, okay, it's a female obviously, why don't I just hold her back and breed her? Funny enough, as she's gone to a full adult, she's gotten quite a few spots. I mean, not the spottiest gecko in my collection, but still plenty going on. We've got those beautiful tiger stripes. Of course, I paired her to Spice again, which is my tiger uh, super Dalmatian with red spots. Really excited for the pairing. So um, let's see those eggs. Maybe, if we're lucky, we can get one clutch on video. Right, here we go, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get some eggs. Let's get some eggs going. Okay, okay, it's not, look. Oh, yes, folks, yes. There we are, one beautiful pearly white egg. Let's see if we can uh, find the other one if we're, oh, here we go, here we go. Awesome, folks, there we have it. Two pearly whites from that beautiful tiger dow. Told you we were gonna get one clutch, folks. Uh, you know, it was a one in four chance, so it wasn't like 
really good, but yeah, we got it. One clutch from that Tiger Super Del to spice my Super Dalmatian Tiger. Um, I'm really excited for these eggs. These eggs mean a little bit more to me just because of the fact that that is an animal that I produce. I didn't purchase that animal to breed it. I catch that animal at the egg. I've raised it to a full adult and now... I don't know what's with the birds today, man. <laughs> and now we're actually having her produce her own eggs. It's really exciting stuff. I'm pretty stoked for it. And um, yeah, let's get these eggs in the incubator and move on to the toe case. And there we got it, folks. Two more eggs cooking with a bunch almost ready to hatch and a bunch of babies still to come. To be honest, this is a big reason why I love doing multiple projects. It does have its cons, but it also has its pros. While we are having a very low toke season going on, probably the worst I've had since I started bringing toke. Our crested gecko season is just incredible. Not only did I figure out why these guys weren't laying eggs or whether eggs weren't fertile, um, that's a, a past video that I talked about a little bit ago, but uh, pretty much now we have coke or ge crested gecko eggs going full fertile. We have a pretty much 90% success rate with hatching those eggs out, and we have made some incredible babies. Especially with the crested geckos, folks. I mean, you guys know me. I've never been too, too psyched for the crested geckos. It kind of been a back burner project while my passions really take them course. But these crested geckos have really jump sparked uh, my excitement and just overall, just I'm stoked for these guys. I've never had to hatch crested gecko babies in the four or five years I've been doing crested geckos with this many spots, folks. We have so many spots on these crested geckos. Just take a look at some of this fantastic B roll. Uh, right here, actually, in this enclosure, we will show this guy off because I just can't get enough of him slash her. Oh my God, folks. Hang on, let's... Enhance image? Enhance? He's... Uh, I'm just gonna take him out. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. Oh, no! Oh yeah, that's why I didn't want to... Oh no! All right, all right, all right, all right, let's enhance image, enhance. Look at those dots, folks. This is just an incredible super Dalmatian. This guy's not even, he's ranging around the three gram weight and those dots are already out of this world. We got some oil spills going, some ink blotting. I mean, when this gecko is an adult, Oh man, when this gecko is an adult, this is going to be a stunner. Probably the best crested gecko I have produced up to date. That was a little bit silly. I probably could have just done with some like montage. Oh, well, let's roll some montage these crested geckos because holding them just uh, doesn't work too well when you're trying to film how beautiful they are. Guys, <laughs> I feel so absolutely stupid right now. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, hella springtails. No, I'm not imagining this. Where did your baby go? I just saw it. Where is the baby? Look at that. We we hatched a Chinese cave gecko baby. What? Excuse me? What is going on? <laughs> um, okay, so this is why I feel really stupid is I just had this long script I was going to talk about where I was like, oh, you know, there's not much we can do with the cave geckos right now because uh, they don't really really need a cool down period and we haven't done that for them. It's like a slight brumation, uh, kind of like with uh, king snakes, corn snakes, really colubrids, things like that. So I was going to go on that, like, we're going to get some eggs next year. Don't worry, guys, but uh, we're just going to have to hold off till next year. We got to do it right. Uh, and then, you know... I look in trying to find, there's one that's really handleable and one that's not that handleable. So I was like, where's the handleable one? And I look up and I'm like, oh, there is a baby in here. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I never saw them copulate. Um, I never saw them really like any behavior. They always hung out on like opposite sides of the room. And I never saw any burying thing. Like it's not even the correct substrate, dude. This is like cocoa blocks. It's just what I had like standing around. I have some eco work that was just delivered. I was gonna put in there to have a, like a better substrate never incubated the eggs, never paid any attention because I didn't think there were eggs in there, and I still success, successful, success, I can't even say successfully right, and yet I hatched a baby. I don't know what's going on. 
Well, <laughs> uh, this changes the title of the video. There, there you go, folks. We have one Chinese cave gecko baby. I am now going to wrap this up, uh, look to see if we have any more eggs or babies that are hanging around. Luckily, we have a bunch of isopods and springtails in here, so the baby has a lot of stuff to snack on in there, but we are gonna end up removing him into his own enclosure. Uh, crazy stuff. This is absolutely bonkers. I did not expect this to happen in video. I'm glad I caught it on video. It just makes for good content, folks. Well, there you have it. We got a Chinese cave gecko baby. We've had a really bad Toke gecko year and a really good crested gecko year. That is going to wrap it up for today, folks. Thank you so much for coming by and hanging out with me on this journey that I call DBCB Exotics. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Until next time, goodbye.